Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. You must keep busy. I understand. You must keep busy. I understand. Do not merely hold your blade. Should you enter a fistfight, guards will not interfere. But drawing your weapon will turn them hostile. Rafiq. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akkar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it, William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaller districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. Oh God, don't kill me! Oh, it's you, Altair. He scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. I'll have your hands for that. Help me. <laughs> 
I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now, your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. Safety and peace, brother. Although it seems I'll be receiving neither. Serves me right, I suppose. Got a bit careless, and now William sent his bowmen after me. I deal with them myself, but to be honest, I lack the skill. Would you be willing to seek them out and kill them? I, I might have something useful for you, were you to accept. But be careful not to let them see you. Thank you, I can once more move freely through the city. In exchange for your aid, take this map I prepared. It shows where William has stationed his other archers. Most useful should you find yourself inside his fortress. The Saracens are rushing. <laughs> 
Welcome back again, Altair. Always in need of a hand to do your dirty work. This time, Al Muelim did not order anything. It is just for my own pleasure that I ask you to find some Masia flags I've hidden in Richard's district. Since I am a loyal assassin unlike others, I will tell you what people are saying in Akka. It is important information. But this time, try to come back to me faster than the first time. Your hard work is changing my opinion of you. Here is what I know about William of Montferrat. He and Richard had a disagreement before the king left for Jaffa. Since then, William stays in his citadel, surrounded by his army. Do you have what it takes to attack him in this protected environment? We'll see, but I am still doubtful. Altair, what brings you back so soon? I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large and many men call him master, but he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Thousand 
souls, William. I was told they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored their end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play at politics? I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Arthur's regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point. But this is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I have a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, your grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Akka for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better, blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial. Akka does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. 
My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly evil. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You, who speak of good intentions.